Now, Lesotho has made headlines in the past week because news came out that the government cancelled a 2.4 billion project that was supposed to be funded by a South African company. We have here with us the director of that company called Property 2000, Nabo Mudise. Dr. Mudise, thank you very much for making the time to talk to us. Now, you have been painted as a person who went to Lesotho and didn't deliver, hence the government had to cancel this mega project. Is this true? No, uh, this is not true. It's really not true because in the first place, I never went to Lesotho. The contractors which were actually appointed by the Minister of Change and Minister of Sports, they were actually appointed and they, with the recommendation of certain people in Lesotho, they approached me, my office in Bukhule. We then discussed and uh, I've learned that actually the project were, at, were 10 key projects as advertised which was advertised on the 10 key basis against the government sovereign guarantees. And uh, upon hearing that, and I said to the, kind of, to the contractor, said, we are happy to help them, we can help them. We then signed the, the term sheet. And after agreeing the term sheet with the condition that actually the government was going to provide a sovereign guarantee for them, I was then called or summoned to the office of the minister uh, to Which to minister? Because we have two ministers that, that we're dealing with. We have the Minister of Sports and the Minister of Finance. The, the, the Minister of Finance. And then at the Minister of Finance, actually, we met uh, uh, Mr. Kotsu Muleleki, uh, who said actually he wanted to ask uh, the contractors in front of me so that before they can recommend anything to the minister, <coughs> to the minister that actually <coughs> they can. <coughs> they can actually uh, be awarded the, 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 ten, the, the tender or the, 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 the opportunity to build those stadiums and to build those uh, student housing and, and uh, indoor, indoor, indoor games. Uh, the contractors, they were very happy, the three of them, about what is happening, about the agree our agreements, and we went to the, the term sheet together with the office of our of, uh, the the lake, including his legal person. His legal person, we went there and they were quite happy about it. There was, however, there was some actually a, a need for interpretation of words and the, the instrument that were used on the, on the term sheet. I did that, I promised them actually I would send them the, the, the interpretation and the meaning of everything which they need to do. And I went to the contract, I sent them to them immediately the same day. I emailed them to Mr. to Mr. Kotsum Lelik, which actually from there I make a telephone call, which he said, no, everything is ready, I hear about it. Then actually they were going to to issue the, 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 the they were going to recommend to the Minister of Finance for the granting of everything. As a result, thereafter, about a few days, some few days after the, 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 the contracts that they were actually awarded, because the awarding, it was subject to them bringing the finance or the capability to do the work. Which actually, after my interview, which I, I would say an interview, which I believe that actually, it actually led to the awarding of the, contra uh, of the, uh, of the tender to the, to the, to the contractors. The contractors were very happy upon that and they said that then there was a, a level step was actually on the on the government guarantee. Uh, if I remember very well, the government guarantee was actually what they called the government guarantee was actually issued on I think it was seven o'clock in the evening on the Friday. And the minister was getting out of the Soto was getting to America. Uh, upon receiving those things, which was on a Saturday, which was actually, uh, I was supposed to have collected those things, but I was stopped not to go and collect them on a very Friday. And then those, con those contracts were delivered to me because I was in Chobek and I had to ask to prove it. It was delivered by hand by Mr. Kozomolinik on the Saturday at his own time. He went to prove them and delivered them and I saw them. Upon seeing everything, I said, this is actually not the sovereign guarantee that the government has promised to give on behalf of these people. Then actually said, no, 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 that they, let's take this step by step. 
Then they said, okay. Then they called the contractors who were very excited about it. They said, no, this is the, this is not the real people that we have actually agreed upon. Uh, but uh, I'll come back to you. I then went to the two banks in South Africa about it. I said, guys, can you consider this? And they said, no, they cannot consider it. I said, I told you that this is actually the, my agreement with you. It was actually the guarantee via a SWIFT MT760. And this is not actually what is that we have agreed upon. Just for clarity, when, if you can just give us indication of dates, even if it's months, when is it that you were called in? When was the actual uh, tender or work actually awarded? And when did you get the letter of guarantee? The letter of guarantee, actually, if I remember very well, not actually a sure amount. I think it was around uh, May, June, somewhere there, May, June, May, June, July, it was somewhere there when they, actually, they were excited about it. Uh, but I wrote a letter to the minister when actually because uh, they were more worried about the 21 days. I said the 21 days actually, it is had nothing to do with this because... Where does the 21 days come in? The 21 days, it was actually on the papers that were delivered to me as a guarantee via his office. But uh, outside Lesotho, there was no bank was going to consider that. Maybe in the Soto. And what, what 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 exactly did it did it say you had to do within twenty one days? They were saying actually I need to deliver, which was the first trench, to the contractors within forty days. You know what I'm saying? But uh, it was an undertaking. To me, it was not a guarantee. It was undertaking a commitment to pay, and we didn't need a commitment to pay or undertaking, which can also be to a certain level a guarantee. But the guarantee that I was expecting from them, it was a guarantee via SWIFT, which needs to be verified bank to bank. When I say SWIFT, it was supposed to be verified bank to bank, and the bank must say, actually, we're happy about this, and we're happy about that, and then we can move forward. Then we're going to count 14 to 21 days, as I have signed with the contractors, which never happened. And then when, every time I try to make them aware that, guys, they, Commitment that you have given me, we do accept it, but it is not a guarantee. Can you give the guarantee via the central bank so that actually it can give us the opportunity to deliver what we want to deliver? You understand? Because actually, and every time I was mentioning to them that, that this thing is going to create a lot and a lot of opportunities for the Vasu to be born. And based on the population that we have and based on the unemployment that we have in the Sotho, this thing was going to create more job opportunities. And uh, creating more job opportunities, it was actually creating even uh, more taxpayers. Because actually, the person that they're doing that, they are not working. And they, they, it's not to say they are lazy. They want to work for their money. They don't want to parasite to anybody. They need to work. And as a result, when they were eventually appointed the contractors, there was people who got employment, as we are talking about now, which is a very sad to them. Those families, they are not eating. They don't have work. They have to be, actually, the contract had, they had to get off, out of the site because there was a lack of money. There was no money anymore for them to pay. If you received the letter in May, June, mm -hmm. the letter that you say was not enough to be called a guarantee, what has happened since then to now when the actual contract or project was cancelled by the Ministry of Finance? Uh, I've tried to call uh, the office of the minister because I was working with, uh, with the office of the minister to the the minister of finance. The minister of finance. And then every time I tried to communicate with them, I was then being appointed. And they were not actually, the man was keeping himself busy. Even December, when I went to his office to come and see him, he was said, I'm on leave for so many times. Even the banks were saying they were leave and one that. So I couldn't do anything. Then I went to call on the, the, the contractor and said, guys, I understand and I really, really feel with you that you are going to difficult times. And the, the subcontractors, they were threatening them to get out of the site. But I said, there is nothing I can do. Even if they can give me a commitment that they would say they would pay. We don't need a commitment because I have come with issues that actually they said they don't want, which was the proof of funds. And I give, when I give them actually the proof of funds 
through a letter, a confirmation letter that confirms that actually there is the money to the tune of 950 euros that can be actually be paid into the bank with the support that actually the bank would give a back to bank guarantee, which they never even encouraged to that. Then they said they really want the money, physical money in the bank. All oh, that I didn't know it was actually I have to hire a horse and trailer to carry 2.4 billion to the soldier so that they can, they can see it. Mm -hmm. the, the mother company that you have uh, gone into this with um, is being questioned. The credibility of it is being questioned. Do you agree with people who, have, who are skeptical about it? I don't agree because actually, you know, sometimes a lack of understanding things can lead to the wrong imagination. What do you think is causing this perception? The, the thing is actually, uh, let's get me get to the point. The thing is actually, some of the projects which were done, especially the project which were done in Malawi where I was present with the Nobel Malawi, there was actually a certain uh, things to be met which the, uh, the government of Malawi didn't make to the, many, to, to the previous the previous minister, you know what I'm saying? And then we talked about, they spoke about something like about Guinea, because most of the, most of the, the countries of maybe some few countries that we've dealt with, they couldn't come out with, a, come up with a, a guarantee as agreed above. And as a result, it, it causes the delay. But the, we then said, let's change the structure, which actually the structure I started with the Soto, being in supportive, to be honest, being in supportive with the Basotho as Mosotho, you know. And then I said to them, okay, guys, let us try because when I when when I first met in the Demolition, it was actually he said to me, Can you reduce the interest? I said, Okay, to what amount? Then we agreed upon. I said, I'm here to help you. You must understand, I want you to treat me as Mosotho, who is actually willing to help the other Basotho. And then he said, Daddy, I am happy. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy. I am uh, very happy because I can see that actually you are your willingness to help. I said, No, you are, I'm open. Discuss with me whatever you need. I will be actually, I will see where I cannot sit. And where I cannot sit, I will make a play. You know what I'm Are you surprised that the contract or the project was cancelled, as we understand? Uh, you know, they normally say there is no smoke before fire. And if we're intelligent enough, you can see the smoke. Then you know that actually the fire is coming. So I was actually uh, prepared, but uh, based on the importance of the of the law of the of the projects, I couldn't believe it. And uh, based on actually the loan that actually I was giving to and the interest that the loan was giving to and the grace period, not paying anything for five years, there is no fly by night that can do that. There is definitely no fly by night that can say you will pay me after. I'm hoping you, but you, are, I'm, I'm going to take this thing after five years. There is no something, nothing like that. But uh, and then said actually, I will give you a loan up to 30 years. I am not even guaranteed that I will live for 30 years. But I was prepared to make him actually comfortable and for the benefit of the nation of the Basut, so that they can create more opportunities for them. And I was even I promised them actually, they, let it be the this the first one because I am taking this one to you at the minimum cost of about three percent. And uh, I even promised uh, I said the next one, maybe I can give it to you for less than that. I can give it maybe even one percent when, when we talk because actually I want actually you know I told him about the countries like Monaco whereby you feed, you you find that the population is about thirty six percent, six thirty six million and after of the out of that thirty six million 20 million are millionaires. This thing with the a population of a lousy two, 2,000, 2 million people, it can be done, it's achievable. With at least minimum of 50% of us to be in the millionaires. The Minister of Sports alleges that she was introduced to you by the Minister of Finance. Is this true? No, I, it's, you, you was introduced to me for the first time when he saw me, when she saw me, we were at the office of Minister of Finance. But the introduction in the way of actually as a panda, I think it was done to the to the contractors. Because they're the one actually who approached me 
the Minister of Finance, to be honest, he never approached me. He only knew both ministers, they knew me, to the, to the contractors. And then actually the contractors, the, the Minister of Finance then called me at his office and it happened that actually the Minister of and some other ministers, they were there as well. Now from what we have heard, the Minister of Sports has admitted to us that yes indeed some of the people, at least a good majority of the contracts that were awarded were awarded to people who are affiliated to her political party. I don't know if you are aware of this. And she also alleges that the reason that the contract was eventually cancelled is because the contracts were not awarded to people that the Minister of Finance preferred. Are you aware that you are at the center of a political turmoil in the Sutra? To some, uh, certain, to some certain extent, but uh, I wouldn't say that because actually, when I entered Lesotho, I entered Lesotho this time as a business person, not actually as a political person. So I wouldn't know which party, which agent would do the money. And some of the conditioning terms, they were not made to me that actually certain people, they need to be assisted or you know, assisted. They came to the group of them and was doing it, like I said, for the benefit, only for the benefit of the Lesotho people, not actually even for the contractors. I was happy to see that actually the contractors, and I was very proud to see that the structure appointing their own people to do the job. Do you think you did enough due diligence to avoid a damage to your brand? I think it was uh, maybe somewhere, somehow I've been careless, but uh, I think based on the support that the government was willing to issue the sovereign guarantee, there was no need for my company to do too on those people because actually they were backed by the government and the SFG that I had a comfort zone for them. I was very comfortable to do that. And if actually anybody that comes with the government that I said, I've been appointed by a government that I know from stage one it would be the government and then from two it was going to be the bank to bank communication whereby actually it is going to be verified because as a person I cannot verify a swift guarantee. It can only be done by the bank. And our bankers were going to do that on our behalf. So there's hence I was saying, if it comes to whereby verification has to come, it has to be done by the bank to bank. So as a result, there was no problem. There was no need even for me to do that. To what extent are you willing to go to either clear your name or verify that you are a bona fide funder who has the funds that you say you have? I've already done that. When I took a, a proof of funds, to the Minister of Gender, who she promised me that she was going to take it to the Minister of Finance office. Then I was said actually, by giving them the proof of us, it was to clear my name. But nevertheless, it never worked. They were expecting maybe, like I said, a horse and trader full of money, so you must count it maybe for a few days or for, some, or for the whole year, because I don't know how, much, how long it will take to count 2.4 billion. So I gave them a bank confirmation letter. That says actually, there is money. And they couldn't believe that. I didn't know what else to do. What next for you and Lesotho? What next for Property 2000 and Lesotho? Time will tell about it. It's very difficult. Time will tell. Let's give it to time. You know, maybe I am uh, somewhere a little bit of, uh, offended. But the time, time heals. And time reveal even the truth. One day the truth will come out. Uh, about the situation whereby something is hidden because I was suspecting that actually it is not about property 2000, honestly speaking. Property 2000, I've never stole from anybody. I've never cheated on anybody. I've said, guys, here it is. I'm giving you 3%. I've never cheated on the 3%. I said, I'll give you the grace because which they requested for five years. And I said, I'll give them a term which they requested, which is 30 years. Of which that 30 years, I'm not sure even that 30 years, I would be alive or what would who be enjoying it. But it will be a legacy for both the Basotho countries and actually for that because this was a good achievement. Because actually, this uh, award was, not, was never awarded. It was not easily awarded to the suit. There were some other countries which were interested to that one, and uh, I was happy for us to have that. And uh, if actually somewhere, some book, somebody, some people are not happy about it, I don't know where is the loyalty to the Basutu. 
Nabo Mudise is the director of Property 2000. This is a company that is at the center of a storm that has turned political in Lesotho, and he was here to clarify for us his role and what he knows about what has turned out now to be a project that has been cancelled reportedly by the Ministry of Finance in Lesotho. For more, go to ewn.co.za.